Howdy folks, my name is Dirk Tharp and welcome to the Carolinas Concrete Cowboy. Today's episode is concerning basic concrete terminology, cement versus concrete. So let's settle up and ride. The purpose of today is to learn the difference in the terms Portland cement or cement and concrete or concrete mix. We're going to be able to answer are these two terms cement and concrete interchangeable? And you're going to know that answer when we're done today. Many of you walk into a store and you say, and you say it just like this, where is your cement? Well, do you mean where is your cement? Or do you mean where's your concrete? And believe me, a lot of you will say, where's your Portland? Let's take a look at that. Portland cement. Portland is the first name of cement. A lot of times it's abbreviated PC. Portland cement is this powder. Let's take a look at some cement. No matter whose brand, it is a very fine powder that's the basis for many, many construction products. So there's, there is cement. That's Portland cement. Portland cement is the gray powder that binds. When you, it doesn't matter whose brand if it says ASTM C150 cement, it meets the criteria for Portland cement being the binding ingredient in anything cementitious. The term cementitious means to, to contain cement. So this is the cornerstone raw ingredient for any of those construction needs. Some examples are masonry cement, which becomes mortar mix, You've got any of your concrete repair goods that are in powder form, your leak stop type materials. It's, everybody says, where's your hydraulic cement? That's what they're talking about. They're still referring to this being one of the ingredients. And then of course, the most common is concrete. So Portland cement is the glue that binds. It is a material that allows you to take a plastic state, meaning after you introduce water and the mix it becomes fluid, to a hardened state. This is the key that starts all of it. So let's look at one of the most common recipes for construction out there to give you an idea of why people buy cement and bulk bags. Looking right here, we have the basic recipe for concrete three parts stone to two parts sand to one part cement add water to the consistency you wish three two one so if it was the first time you've ever heard that formula three two one guess what you don't need to mess with that cement you need to be over here in pre-mixed pre-blended pre-engineered bagged concrete a fine example is Sackcrete High Strength Concrete Mix. This is some of this mix poured into a jar. Hear that sound? That's the stone and the sand in there. So let's look at some. So when you say, I want some cement, you really mean concrete, this is what you're asking for. This is a pre-proportioned mix of coarse aggregate, stone, fine aggregate, which are these higher particles, that sand, and these very fine gray particles, which is cement. This is a concrete mix ready to add water. So this is concrete. This is a piece of hardened concrete. A broom finished the top. Interior surfaces are, are slick finished just like that. This is concrete. This is cement. So what have we learned today? 
Cement and concrete are not interchangeable terms. If you need cement, you're asking for the powder that binds. If you want concrete, it's everything else. And so, no, Ellie Mae Clampett did not swim in the cement pond. My name is Dirk Tharp. This has been the Carolina's Concrete Cowboy. And until next time, yippee ki -yay, concrete. Legal disclaimer. The views expressed by the Carolina's Concrete Cowboy, although profound, and his actions, albeit masterful, are his and his alone. If you've enjoyed these videos, please like and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, Carolina's Concrete Cowboy. And by all means, we look for your feedback. If you've got a, uh, a session you'd like us to do or some questions you'd like answered, give me the feedback below or email me at carolinasconcretecowboy at gmail.com. Happy trails.